Hey guys, it's me again. Um, this is the third video that I am filming today. And I'm also on my third Truly, so. Okay, so pretty much this past week, I have been really irresponsibly buying all types of, you know, little drugstore makeups and hair things and everything like that. Little hoodies and stupid shit. No, it's not stupid because I like making these videos and anyways um, and if you're asking if you're wondering how and why I'm out shopping during a pandemic where I should be barricaded inside at home um, my job is considered essential so I still have been I still have been working and they happen to sell a lot of makeup and hair stuff at my work not Target. Gosh, Target is so amazing. Um, not Target, the other one. So. This video is going to be featuring this gorgeous. Now, this is really stunning. Like, Hard Candy Desert Fever Palette. This retails, I forget, it's either like 10 bucks or like 15. I think it's only like 10 bucks. <sighs> Excuse me. We have all these little shadows, and I'm not sure if these two larger ones are supposed to be like um, face makeup, like contour and blush or what, but I think they're supposed to be eyeshadows as well. Okay, those are the base shades apparently, and I don't know, the color scheme is just really beautiful. This popped out at me. I was like, yes, I need it. Two shades are right here. Like actually a few of the shades in this remind me of the Amrezy palette, but pretty much, I wouldn't go as far as to say it could be a dupe, but it definitely like, especially these two right here, it reminded me of it, but yeah, I have a nail situation, so I apologize. But yes, if you guys want to see me dig into this, then please keep on watching. It's going to be really fun. This is so pretty and cool. You're going to get my review, my first impression, and all that. Okay, guys, I just want to apologize. That intro was very vile, and please forget it ever happened. I'm going to open up the palette here for the sake of doing a really raw, um, unfiltered review. I'm going to be using the little tools that they put in the palette. Um, I mean, that is kind of cool that they included all that because there's two dual-sided um, tools, I guess, brushes. There's two little dual-sided brushes in there, so all together there's four, and I think that was kind of generous of them to throw in there, so. Here we are. Okay, let's get one of these brushes off. So... Basically, each brush has like a more fluffy blending side and then an angled precision side. Can't believe I just articulated all those words. I kind of honestly want to do a different color scheme on each eye and use as many shades as possible. I don't feel like rolling my sleeves up and I don't really have anywhere to swatch right now. So I just want to go in on my eyes. So this is like that very taupe kind of base shape. All right guys, so for me, that shade, talking about this one right here, is very, very, it doesn't really show up on me. It's more like a setting powder for my lid, to be honest. So I'll just use that as like, not even a transition shade, but more like a prep shade just to kind of prime my lid, honestly. It is useful for that though. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try this pinky shade. And this is going to be um, the base shade for this eye. Okay, it's like a really soft color, which means it just kind of like glides on. It's very smooth. I'm having an easy time blending it. I'm gonna drag it all the way to the inner corner and I'm gonna do a very like dome shape around my lid. So I'm getting all that pigment out of this. Very nice. 
and I'm gonna go back to that other base shade right here and I'm gonna use that to blend the very edge of this one and that worked really well going back to my right eye and the like left side of the palette I am going to dip into the pretty yellow shade and I've also grabbed the second brush now and now I'm going to make a crease like I did with the pink over here with the yellow over here this is a sheer yellow um, I have a similar yellow shade in my elf 18 hit wonder palette and it's a lot more pigmented so this is a sheer yellow let's see if we can build on it you can build on it a little bit but overall it's just kind of translucent i'm so sorry we just had some lost footage so let me catch you up real quick so going back to my left eye i chose that to um, incorporate the hot pink, this really pretty magenta shade right there into the crease, blend it with that pink base shade, and then I use the precision end of my brush to also um, put some of that on my under eye area, and I did drag the wing out. So what I was saying was this color is so vibrant and beautiful in the palette that you just want it to bring that same element of vibrance to the lid, and it wasn't too bad. It wasn't as sheer as, like, the yellow, but, um, it's definitely not, like, a pressed pigment, but, yeah, the look is coming along, so we're gonna go back to the right eye now, and I'm gonna go in with this kind of clay color right here. I'm pretty much doing the same thing with this tannish shade that I was doing with the magenta shade over there. All right, the look is moving along. Going back over here, we're gonna define the crease more with this plum shade. I'm gonna use the precision end of the brush to place the color and then I'm gonna blend it with the blending side of the brush. When I put the purple in the crease, it just didn't blend that great. No, maybe I'm just being too harsh, but. Okay, so back to my right eye. I'm going to go in on the lid with this beautiful metallic goldish shade. This is a really pretty foil shade. Foil shades, even the really cheap ones, have been known to create a really bold look. Wow, that's pretty pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, so for this eye, we're going to go in with this pretty kind of dual chrome shade right here. Please be pigmented. All right guys, bear with me as I finish up this look. Okay guys, so here is the final look. Here you have it. The color is there and these shades are buildable. You can work with the palette. So I'm going to give it three stars out of five. Um, I 
especially favor this eye over here. My favorite shade that I used all together was probably that goldish foil shade. And what I was most disappointed in, I think was definitely the yellow shade because it was just like kind of chalky and see-through. And like now it's kind of non-existent on my lid. Um, even though I did blend that other clayish shade into it, um, and by the way, all these shades do have names. They're listed here on the back. I just didn't really bother using them. So yeah, Hard Candy um, Desert Fever Palette available at Walmart for I think $9.97. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't like go all out with the winged liner and all that. It's just like midnight right now, so I'm kind of over it. But thank you guys for watching. Leave me a comment, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.